Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Dasky here with another Crusher Cars gameplay. Now in this gameplay, what I'm going to be doing is showing you a gameplay footage with the legendary plane. And let me tell you, this car is a very fun car to use. As I explained in my previous video and actually showed you a gameplay with it, it's a very unique car because it has the ability to fly. And it's the first car in the game that can actually fly within Crusher Cars. Now I just want to apologize for not having uploaded a video in quite a while. I've been extremely busy with work to be honest and I haven't had much time to record and edit a gameplay for YouTube. Now nonetheless before we get into this gameplay I just want to show you an epic... You know what I'm not even going to say what it is I'm going to let you watch it for yourself because it is an absolutely beast gameplay. So as you can see I drive straight up onto the main high ground on the jungle map. I see all these crowns just laying there. I pick them all up. I turn around. I go ahead and pick up the power up and I get the teleport, pick up the last crown, use the teleport and I get a triple kill with the teleport. Now this is absolutely insane, a triple kill with one single teleport. Now when you order comment down in the comment section below what the most kills you've gotten with one power up is and tell me what power up that was. So go ahead right now and be sure to comment it down in the comment section below before the gameplay actually starts. Now here I'm going ahead and showing you all the skins on the plane just to show you what they look like but I really like the original skin for the plane so I'm going to go ahead and use it and I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into the jungle map. So we start off by spawning in the top right corner of the map and we're just going to go ahead and drive straight over this tree and we're going to pick up the homing missile. So what I'm going to do is I want to stay on the high ground as much as I can when I'm playing this jungle map. Especially since I am using the plane, I know that I can easily escape by flying away. And if you didn't know, with the plane, you can fly to lower objects, but when you're on lower land ground, you can't fly onto the higher ground unless you actually go over the ramp and get the height in order to get onto the higher ground. So what I want to do is I'm going to stay on top of this high ground as much as possible, obviously because of this reason. And that way I can easily escape from any enemies that are threatening me. So now I've got the shield and I'm only going to use it when I see that my health could go down. So right there is exactly what I said. I wasn't high enough in order to make the higher ground so I hit the wall and fell into the water. But luckily I did have the shield active so I didn't take any damage from falling into the water. So now I'm just going to drive around here. Get a good power up until I want to leave. So there I just use a snow cannon into the empty open. That way I could pick up another power up as fast as possible. And now that I've got the rail gun, I'm going to try and cut off the person on 30 crowns. That way I can activate the rail gun and destroy them and get their crowns. So I activated it there on a bit of an angle. But unfortunately I wasn't able to kill them. So I'm just going to drive straight over towards them. But unfortunately they were using the Grand Veloc. And were able to get away very quickly before I could actually catch up to them. So now I'm going to drive around, they're my main target of this game, I'm on 14 crowns and I noticed that they just died but I see all these crowns in front of me so I'm just going to go ahead and pick them up because I know that there's an enemy probably waiting there that's probably killed them and just picked up their crowns. There I just got hit by the oil barrel on the side of the map so I did take a bit of damage but I had to slam the brake then otherwise I would have drove straight into the snow cannon. I managed to destroy both of those enemies there with the front cannon and I'm going to go ahead and pick up their crowns. Unfortunately the enemy before me managed to steal most of those crowns which is a bit disappointing but nonetheless King Das doesn't take that and I'm going to make sure I kill him for stealing those crowns. So now I've got another rail gun and I'm going to try and activate it in a way that I can get some more kills with it and get some more crowns. So there I activated it and I managed to kill the person behind me that was on two crowns as they drove up the ramp. So now I try to slam the brakes to try and fall down onto the ground so I can stay on the land and collect some more crowns. Because that's one of the hardest things about the plane. It's very, very easy to get away from the enemies because you can fly on top of them and fly above them and it's very hard for them to be able to try and kill you. But when you are in the air, you aren't able to pick up as many crowns as if you're on the ground. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword right there. You want to be able to play smart and be in the air only when you need to be in the air. And right here, this enemy is just sitting there with the cannon on him and shoots me, but I don't take that. So I just push him straight over the edge. Get out of here. This is my land. So right now, I pick up another shield. And like I always do with the shield, I only use it when I need to. So I fly over these enemies, get out of the trouble, don't want to be in any hot water. And I drive to somewhere more quiet, more remote. That way I can pick up a few easy crowns before I need to use it. 
but unfortunately one of the enemies came straight for me so I needed to use it right there. So now I'm just driving around, I see this person is on 5 crowns with very small amount of health, so I aim straight for them and kill them, picking up their crowns very very easily. So right here I go ahead and get the teleport and I turn around straight away and activate it, hoping I'll land on the person with 27 crowns. Unfortunately, I didn't land on them, so I wasn't able to kill them. And right here is the biggest mistake that I made. I got the landmines, but I picked up the other power-up and used the landmine straight after I picked it up. So I didn't have another power-up. And right there, I died because of that costly mistake. I went into a battle with no power-up. So that's one thing you want to make sure you do. You always want to make sure you have a power-up when you're going into a battle with an enemy. Otherwise, you just got to be hoping that they don't have a power-up either. And as you saw, that costly mistake caused me to die on 37 crowns. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There is 37 crowns with the legendary plane. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed that triple kill with the teleport at the start of the gameplay. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe for some more awesome Crasher Cars content. Also, as I said earlier in the video, please be sure to tell me down in the comment section below the power-up that you were able to kill the most enemies with and how many enemies you were able to kill with that one power-up. And for now, Dasky out.